on beatdown. The match has been made by our general manager Stone Cold. At New Year's Revolution, our first main event of the new year will be Bray Wyatt defending his WWE Championship in a fatal four-way match against Daniel Bryan, Kane, and The Undertaker. On this special holiday edition of Beatdown, we kick off one of Beatdown's hottest new superstars who won the Impact Showcase Fatal 4-Way Match at Beatdown Impact. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Hideo Itami. Time we'll be taking on Tyler Breeze. And here we go at our special holiday edition of Beatdown. Just one week away from New Year's Revolution. Tommy and Breeze with some separation. Now Tyler Breeze. In control, but here comes a Tommy. Wrenching at the head and then the knee to the back. Tommy with an explosive clothesline to Breeze. Goes for a quick cover. And Tyler able to kick out at one. Ever since debuting, Hideo Itami has been on an absolute roll. Winning his beatdown debut match. Winning the Impact Showcase Fatal 4-Way. There is no doubt that Hideo Itami is making his presence felt. And you hear those Hideo chants? Crowd's getting behind him. Kyle Breeze looking to look to the outside. Trying to separate himself from Hideo. But then Tommy, look at that! From the top rope to the outside. Not letting Tyler Breeze get away so easily. And now sending Tyler Breeze into the ring post and face first. He won't be taking very many selfies after that. On the outside floor, Tommy wrenching at the head of Tyler Breeze. Referee up to a count of seven. Adeo notices that and gets back inside. And now here comes Breeze. Nice reversal there by Tyler Breeze. Kick right to the head. And that kick may have brought Tyler Breeze right back into this matchup. It's Tyler Breeze wrenching at the head of Hideo. And now with Tommy trying to fight out of it, and he does. With this combo and a kick to the chest for good measure. 
Now a day with Tommy, measuring up Tyler Breeze. He's got him on his shoulders and go to sleep, Breeze. Dale is Tommy picking up the victory. And, and Tommy's streak continues. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we got a very special Christmas themed Divas Battle Royal. That Battle Royal is next. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown, the Friday Night Fight. Special Holiday Edition. And as promised, it is time for our Christmas themed Divas Battle Royal. Santa's Little Helpers. Introducing first, Brie Bella. And now here comes a Christmas tree. No, wait, that's actually uh, her twin sister, Nikki Bella. Oh, okay. Here is summer. The long-legged reindeer. Wow. She got antlers and everything. Here's Layla. With a, uh, I guess you could say that's a Mrs. Claus style outfit going there. A sexy Mrs. Claus. And wow. I, um, I'm at a loss of words for this outfit. Uh, that is one sweet looking candy cane. And now here's the dancing Queen Emma. Who still seems very happy, very positive, despite losing to Paige at Beatdown Impact due to a distraction. Still no word as to what that was. 
But she has moved on. And here we go. Our special holiday Christmas themed Divas Battle Royal. Eva taking it to Nikki, Bree taking it to Summer, Emma taking it to Layla. This is a over the top row battle royal. And there goes Layla. One down. Sending Nikki over the top rope. Nikki's still able to hold on. At least that's pressed by Emma and some close fish shots to the summer the long legged reindeer. Let's look at this Bree sending her twin sister Nikki over the top rope and Nikki able to hold on. Summer and Emma are battling it out on the ropes. Emma doing the pushing and the shoving, and there goes Summer Rae. Summer Rae, deer is gone. Emma is really cleaning house. She's got Bray on the top. And there goes Bray. And then there were three. It has come down to Nikki, Eva Marie, and Emma. Eva Marie going over the top rope, able to hang on. Down Emma. Now these two are ganging up on Emma. Emma's no stranger to a battle royal on beatdown. She won the battle royal to become number one contender to face Paige at Impact. Now look, a double team. Double team to Nikki. And there she goes. And it's all down to the two E's, Emma and Eva. That is Emma. Tossing Eva halfway across the ring. I'm battling it out on the ropes. Eva trying to hold on. And there goes Eva. No, she's able to hold on. Barely able to hold on. Now, back break of the Emma. Look at this now. Eva wrenching it. Neck breaker by Emma. She might have just broke the candy cane. And nobody likes a broken candy cane. And from the second rope, huge DDT. Huge DDT. Now over the top rope, Eva holds on and brings herself back in. And there goes Emma. 
Emma trying to fight now. She does. Back and forth, these two go. There goes Eva again. Able to hang on. Emma, though, with a huge kick, and Emma wins the Battle Royal. Emma has won our special Christmas themed Battle Royal. Congratulations, Emma. Pathetic. Beat down the Friday Night Fight, brought to you by... Right. Whatever, dude. Hello there. Gotta hear beef. Gotta hear spice. Need a little excitement? Snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown, the Friday Night Fight Special Holiday Edition. And take a look at who's in action. Our new Intercontinental Champion won that title by defeating Sheamus at Beatdown Impact. He's not very holly jolly, but he's still Kevin Owens. Needed Sheamus at Beatdown Impact with not one, not two, but three pop up power bobs. In a row, might I add. in action taking on Fon Dong Go here we go and Owens explodes with a huge clothesline and down goes Fon Dongo Planting him. Aaron <laughs> Owens, the mission hole locked in on Fonzango. Sent over the top, a reversal. And just when Fandango was trying to get back into this matchup, Owens just plants him down with a back suplex. Just wrenching his head with that headlock. Fandango trying to fight out of it. I think Kevin Owens is just having fun now. Back suplex. Keep in mind, Kevin Owens will be defending that title next week at Beatdown New Year's Revolution against Dean Ambrose. Owens doesn't really seem to care about that too much right now, as he is just taking out the trash with Fandango. Pop up power bomb. Oh, 
Our Intercontinental Champ is dominant. Owens with the victory. You will see Dean Ambrose next week at Beatdown New Year's Revolution. But he is standing tall tonight. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have two updates for you on Beatdown social media. First, two matches have been made for Beatdown New Year's Revolution. As you see here on your screen, Vito saying it doesn't matter if it's Zayn or Test. Him and Corbin will run through anybody. Tommy Test wants Corbin at New Year's Revolution? He got him. Sami Zayn wants another shot at the Cruiserweight title at New Year's Revolution? He got it. So how about that? At New Year's Revolution, we will see Tommy Test take on Baron Corbin. And the Cruiserweight title will be on the line as Vito defends it against Sami Zayn. And second... Our pirate Captain Kruger claiming that Santa gave him a present, a new tag team partner, and he will put his tag team partner to the test tonight. As a matter of fact, that's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown. Special Holiday Edition. And it's time for some tag team action. Just making their way to the ring. Team Positivity. Bo Dallas and Xavier Woods, The New Day. What a great time, too. Spreading positivity on Christmas. Be taking on Captain Kruger and his Santa gifted tag team partner. Captain Kruger. Who last week on Beatdown Social Media claiming that he wants some treasure and is going for the tag titles. All he needed was a partner. And remember, it was Cesaro and Kid replying saying that if you could find a partner, you're on that New Year's revolution. So let's find out who Captain Kruger's partner is. And if Captain Kruger is satisfied with his work. Look at this! It appears as if Captain Kruger's tag team partner is Damian Sandow! Or should I say, First Mate Mandow!
And a choice for our tag partner. It was Santa gifted, so let's see if it pays off. Looks like Kruger starting off this matchup. No, he's immediately putting his new parts to the test. Here we go. First mate Sandow. Going up against Xavier Woods. Let's see how well Sandow does here. Yeah, that knee right to the face. So far, so good for Sandow. And now reversal by Xavier Woods into a neck breaker. Now Sandow with a huge clothesline. Exploding clothesline to Xavier Woods from the second rope. Goes for a splash. Send Gibby Wood into the corner. And so far, so good for Sandow. Cover on Gibby Woods. And look at that. Gibby Woods able to grab the bottom rope. Our strategy there. Now Sandow sent over the top rope to the outside floor. Bo Dallas now the legal man. Dallas is taking it to first meet Sandow. We have to say, he's been impressive so far. I wonder how Captain Kruger's feeling about him. And Sandow explodes! With a huge spine buster. Cover on bow and a kick at it, too. Did you see the way Bo Dallas's head landed hard on the mat? And he's still able to kick out of two. So far so good for Sandow. Doing it all alone. Tagging in the captain. Here comes Kruger. Seems like they're both on the same page with a nice double team. Oh, and Kruger going after Gary Woods. Wrenching at the face of Bo Dallas. Now Bo Dallas with a cover on Kruger. And the captain's able to kick out at one.
ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Beatdown, the Friday Night Fight. This is a special holiday theme edition. Tag, here comes Sandow. From the second row, nice double team move there. These two appear to be on the same page. Now outside. Ruger sends Xavier Woods back inside the ring. Right to Sandow. Captain. With those hard kicks to the chest. For Xavier Woods now measuring up Woods. Captain Kruger hits the crow's nest. Sandow taking care of both Dallas and they pick up a victory. Captain Kruger seems pleased with Sandow. And it appears as if we have another match made for Beatdown New Year's Revolution. Kruger and first mate Sandow will take on Ken Cesaro for the tag titles. New tag team here on Beatdown. Captain Kruger and first mate Sandow. Pirate Tales, the most shocking pirate stories told by WWE 2K16 beatdown superstar Captain Kruger. Every night at 5, only on the ELT Network. Is he here this time? Is Jericho here? Is that him? Yes it is! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Beatdown, the Friday Night Fight Special Holiday Edition. And it appears as if he's back from his band tour. Chris Jericho was back. No longer one half of the world tag team champs though. However tonight he does have a chance to get a little bit of redemption. As he's taking on one half of the new WWE tag team champs Cesaro. Gotta imagine that Jericho's former tag team partner Orton's watching this match somewhere. Those two are not on good terms, so the Viper can strike at any time. I think Jericho's looking over his shoulder. There they are, our new World Tag Team Champs. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. However tonight, it's only Cesaro in action.
Jericho taking on Cesaro. Here we go. This should be a good one. These two lock up Cesaro with Jericho in the corner. For some separation, and Cesaro with a strike. Cesaro with a huge clothesline to Jericho. Slammed by Cesaro into a pin. And Jericho with a quick kick out. And Cesaro with a huge uppercut. Once again, cover on Jericho and able to kick out at one. And it's been all Cesaro so far. Now here comes Jericho. Heart Chris Jericho. The guy that claims he's the best in the world at what he does. Cesaro, though, with a huge clothesline. Back and forth, these two go. Cesaro with a submission hold on Jericho. Now here comes Jericho able to break free. Holding blow from Cesaro. Jericho staggered a little bit, but now in control. A Russian leg sweep. This is what Jericho does best in the ring. Submission specialist. Working on the legs of Cesaro. Tyson Kidd nervously looking on. It's Jericho with a back suplex. And elbow drop. There's Jericho in control. Goes for cover on Cesaro, and Cesaro with a power out. Let's kick right to the back by Jericho. From Cesaro. And Jericho. Spring boarding! Huge clothesline. I mean, sorry, uppercut. That was explosive. And now belly to belly. And here comes Cesaro. Cover on Jericho. And Chris Jericho able to power out. Zaro, huge uppercut. If you love Jericho, another one. And Jericho again goes for one more and he connects. One big uppercut. Jericho able to reverse now. It's because Jericho in control with a snake eye. This is Cesaro. Now Jericho, look at this alliance salt from halfway across the ring. 
Cesaro able to kick out. Cesaro with a big boot. Now the king of swing climbing. So top of dive, Jericho move out of the way. Neck breaker. Mission hole locked in. And Cesaro powers out. And a huge clothesline sending Jericho to the outside floor. Cesaro now going top rope. Diving to the outside. Jericho catches him with a code breaker on the outside. This is indeed awesome. It's Cesaro, quickly getting back into control. Maybe Jericho didn't get all of it. Jericho's actually busted open. Snake eyes by Cesaro. Now with Jericho. Huge uppercut from Cesaro. Cesaro measuring up Jericho. Calling for the swing. Jericho knows what's coming. Able to move out of the way. Jericho's quick. Cesaro explodes with a belly to belly. Now Cesaro once again setting it up. Now going for it. Here it is. Giant swing from Cesaro. Jericho is going a swinging. Cesaro measuring up Jericho. He's got him for a neutralizer. Neutralizer to Jericho. Cesaro. Cover. Hook in the leg and the victory. Cesaro picking up the victory. A huge win. Tyson Kidd pleased. What a matchup that was. Our main event of the evening is next. I'm a man of great discipline. I'm straight edge. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. My name is C. Ladies and gentlemen, it's main event time here on Beatdown. The Friday Night Fight, the special holiday edition. As we saw earlier tonight, Bray Wyatt claiming that his brothers, his family, 
Need some gold as well. And it appears as if they're targeting Beatdown's newest superstar, Finn Balor, in the hardcore title. Only one man can be hardcore champion, I remind you, but the Wyatt family wants it. So what I'm guessing is that these two will be taking on Finn Balor here in our main event for the hardcore title. Waiting for him. And there he is. Our hardcore champ. Finn Balor has arrived! entrance gets more and more stunning every time you see it. But perhaps not as stunning as when he's wearing his demon paint. Finn Balor is taking on the Wyatt family for the hardcore. Wait a minute. Oh, would you look who it is? And I'm just receiving word. This is actually a tag team match. A hardcore tag team match. With Finn Balor's tag team partner being Jolly Old St. Mick. The hardcore legend Mick Foley in his Santa Claus attire with his sack full of goodies. This just got a lot more interesting. Finn Balor and jolly old St. Mick against the Wyatt family. Here we go! Luke Harper immediately takes it to Balor. And Eric Rowan with St. Mick. And the Wyatt family starting off strong. This is an extreme rules. Hardcore tag team match. Anything goes. And Finn Balor sending Luke Harper to the outside floor. St. Mick. Taking it to Eric Rowan. Balor got a cover on Luke Harper and a kick out of one. 
That's Foley's hammering away on Eric Rowan. to Harper and go now going to the outside floor and he's getting himself a weapon it's a steel chair he's back inside the ring it's Rowe and in control over St. Mick Battler's got a table Eric Rowan dominating. St. Mick. Different story outside of the ring. Finn Balor taking it to Luke Harper. And just as I said of that, St. Mick throwing Rowan to the outside floor. This is extreme rules. Anything goes. As Balor with those chair shots to Harper. And now one to Rowan. And Balor and Sig Mick were in control, but now here comes the Wyatt family. family now with complete control as Luke Harper with a steel chair shot to Balor. And Balor trying to battle back. And it's Foley with a Russian leg sweep. To Rowan on the outside floor by Balor stomping on Harper. Look at Foley wrenching at the eyes of Rowan and Balor. The candlestick shot to Luke Harper. And imagine Bray Wyatt's watching this matchup. Maybe at the moment, not too happy. What are you seeing? As you see from this camera angle, in one corner you got Balor and Harper. In the other corner, Rowan and St. Mick. Finn Balor with an inverted DVD DDT to Luke Harper. Is that Rowan measuring up St. Mick on the other side? Now steal a chair shot to St. Mick. Trying to battle out of it. It's Finn Balor. Sends Luke Harper into the steel steps. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Beatdown, the Friday Night Fight Special Holiday Edition. This is our main event of the evening. It is a tag team extreme rules match. The Wyatt family, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, taking on Finn Balor and Jolly Old St. Mick. Both teams back inside the ring now. This is a table set up. A 
It's never good. Finn Balor springboard drop kick. There goes Harper. Harper sent to the outside. St. Mick going after him. Finn Balor back inside the ring with Rowan. Stephen Balor just huge suplex spiking Rowan's head. As of the moment, Luke Harper has been taken out of this matchup. And it's Balor and Rowan going at it. As St. Mick keeping watch. Just like that, the Wyatt family back in control. Rowan got a cover on Balor and a kick out. Now it's Luke Harper setting up that table. Wrenching the head of St. Mick while if, meanwhile Finn Balor goes top rope. We have a rolling. And St. Mick kicks out of two. Balor sends Rowan to the outside floor. Now trying to help out his tag team partner. Jolly old St. Mick. Nice reversal by Luke Harper. Harper now with a cover on Balor. And Finn Balor able to kick out at two. Balor with a huge kick. Huge kick to the head. Luke Harper, as if Luke Harper didn't have enough of head problems. Now St. Mick setting up Eric Rowan on that table. Finn Balor going to the top rope. And he goes through the table as Rowan's able to move right out of the way. Balor in the very DT and Luke Harper. Sends him to the outside floor. Alone in the ring is Rowan. As Finn Balor has busted him open. Balor goes top rope. Here comes Harper. Balor able to reverse. And a huge drop kick. Able to reverse. Back and forth they go. Same make able to kick out of two. Now Luke Harper looking for a weapon. He's got a ladder. How is he gonna do with that ladder? Bring a ladder into the mix. 
top rope is Eric Rowan with Finn Balor, huge suplex. Now going for a cover. Balor able to kick out. Finn Balor, nice reversal, sends Rowan right into that ladder. Back and forth matchup. Ooh, Carp with a huge toss, sending Bala halfway across the ring. And the Wyatt family's all alone now at St. Mick. Rowan going for a cover on Balor and Finn Balor with a kick out. Now Finn Balor going top rope as Mick Foley. The huge knee connecting to Rowan. Actually, that's Harper. And Luke Harper able to kick out at two. Meanwhile, Finn Balor missing the top rope dive, letting Eric Rowan take control. And Rowan with a huge boot. Cover on Balor. Finn Balor able to kick out. Look at St. Mick, he's got Luke Harper. For a pile driver! Pile driver. Rowan bringing a sledgehammer into the mix, or at least trying to, Finn Balor. Looking to take advantage and spiking Eric Rowan onto that sledgehammer. Eric Rowan's head just spiked off the sledgehammer. Finn Balor connecting to Luke Harper. Nick Foley looking to take control. Goes for a cover. And it's a victory. As Eric Rowan just watches on. I'm not sure he knew where he was. He got hit in the head so hard. What a strange but appropriate way to end. The beatdown holiday special. Finn Balor, Mick Foley are on top. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, next week is a special beatdown New Year's revolution. But for tonight, from Beatdown, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and good night, everybody.